I'd like to introduce next um, Senator Rob McCauley. Uh, our great Senator, Rob McCauley, represents us in the first Senate district. It turns out he's got 11 counties, uh, the most of any Senator in the Ohio Senate. Uh, he told me he doesn't want you Henry County folks to know this, but we are his favorite county. So <laughs> he lives in Napoleon, but uh, we still are his favorite county. So before he was appointed to the Senate, Rob represented the 81st District in the Ohio House. He was in the leadership there as the assistant majority whip. He was appointed to the Senate in late 2017 and was elected to a full term in a landslide last November. He won 82.7% of the vote in Putnam County. That's why we're his favorite county. Um, he chairs the Senate Transportation Committee. He serves on several other committees and was recently appointed to the Ohio Turnpike Commission. He has consistently defended our Second Amendment rights, and I am most proud to say that he had a very important role to play in helping the Ohio Senate to pass the heartbeat bill. It passed just last week. That's worth a round of applause by itself, Senator. I met Senator McCauley the first time when he knocked on my front door in Glendorf during his first run for the House, and then again when he knocked on my front door a couple of weeks later. And I told my wife, we were standing on the porch after he left, that man knows how to turn out the vote, and he's proven it ever since. But I do have to say, as popular as he is, he's not the most popular Macaulay, and it's not his brother Pat, who's not here. It's his beautiful daughter Anna, his secret weapon, who goes with him to many events, charming crowds as she goes. He is a true friend of Putnam County. Please welcome Senator Rob Macaulay. Thank you, Chairman, and what a, what a great event that you guys have put on here. Um, let's give a round of applause for the caterers. <laughs> Lynn Neese and Bavarian Catering actually catered my wedding, so it's kind of nostalgic being here, you know, ha having some reminiscing going on. But it's a pleasure to be here in Putnam County. I, I joke with people down in, uh, in Columbus that Putnam County is God's country. And I really do believe that in some respects. Things are just different here. And I feel like Bob Latta would concur with me on that, being that we share a good amount of the same district. Things are just different here. People care about each other. People care about their fellow man here. And I got to tell you that I appreciate the chairman's remark about the courthouse and how beautiful it is. Well, a little bit of trivia about me is if you walk in the front door of the courthouse off of Main Street and you look at the plaque up to the right, it says George Herman on there as one of the commissioners who was there when they built the courthouse. George Herman is my great-great-grandfather. Now, the funny thing is, I, I've, I've done a little bit of research on, on my great-great-grandfather, and I don't believe he served another term um, after the courthouse was built. And if I know the people of Putnam County very well, it's because they voted him out after he spent all that money on a new courthouse. <laughs> As I would expect them to do. But this really is God's country up here. And I, I truly believe that Western Ohio is the conscience of the Republican Party. You know, I, we see what's happening at the national level right now, and we see the tides that we're battling in D.C. And we brought up already the idea of infanticide, the fact that Democrats would allow somebody to be born and placed on a table while the doctor and the mother talk about their options, while that baby is fighting for every last breath of its dear life. Well, I got news for you. You guys sent me to Columbus to defend the unborn life, which is why I was proud to cast a vote for the heartbeat bill, and why we're proud to send it to the House and then to Governor DeWine to sign it. But that's not the only issue we're facing. Some of the issues that have already been mentioned, the Green New Deal, fair pay for all, whether they want to work or not. These aren't values that we hold dear around here. These aren't values that we hold dear in Putnam County or Northwest Ohio. And it's important that we show up in 2020 to make sure we don't fall victim to what the left is trying to do right now. There is no limit to how liberal and how far left they're going to take this country. And if we don't show up and elect conservative Supreme Court justices like Judy French and Sharon Kennedy, we're one election away from having a Democrat Supreme Court, and we all know what the Democrats will do with the Supreme Court then. 
any heartbeat bill or anything we pass in the legislature is as good as dead. So we need to show up and we need to be the conservative part of the state that we are because like I said, if Western Ohio is the conscience of the Republican Party, then by God, Putnam County is the heart of the conscience of the Republican Party. So let's all show up on election day in 2020. Let's make sure that we put up that big red wall in Western Ohio on election day and let's continue to make America great again. Thank you everybody. It's a pleasure to represent you in Columbus.